it's Yvette and yes, I'm in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> I just posted a video today and it's basically just showing me sewing a tiny bit. Um, so I know that's not what y'all expected. I'll be honest, it's not what I expected. Um, but this is my first time at a Judy Niemeyer retreat and I had no idea what to expect. Um, I guess I thought that we would have like a bit more downtime. Um, but <laughs> surprisingly, Judy spends a lot of time with us. Like um, she'll come in in the morning after breakfast at about 10 a.m. I guess, 9.30, 10, something like that. And then she basically stays with us like all day. There was one day um, where she was here until like 9 or 9.30. And I don't know how to say this other than to just come out and say, it feels a bit rude to me um, to like pull my camera out and, you know, start filming. Even if it's just filming me, um, you know, sewing or whatnot. So, um, so I haven't really been doing that too much unless she leaves and then I can, like I did for the video that I posted today, I can post a little bit um, of me sewing. So I, I did that, um, but I thought I would come in and kind of give you an, an idea of what goes on. So, um, my, my um, powder broke into a million pieces because, you know, flew with it, but that's just life. You can still use it. <laughs> um, so, you arrive, um, you can pay for extra days if you want to come early um, and if they don't have like a class but that's you know, right before um, then you can do that um, when you come in uh, you probably already know this from my first video but you have a roommate and my roommate is amazeballs her name's Jenna, that's all I'm gonna say because people, you know, have to be able to give their own permission to talk about stuff and I'm not gonna do that. Um, but she's wonderful, I love her. And um, so you, you, you're you assigned a bed, you take the bed and um, there's like a little desk, there's um, some hangers if you wanna hang some of your clothes up, you can bring snacks, you can, do whatever you'd like um and it's been quite cold here and I love it but um I'm coming again later and it'll be in the summer so we'll see how that goes um and what else so then you set up your sewing machine I'm renting a sewing machine and if you rent um they give you a Bernina now, I am not trying to make enemies with any Bernina people, but I can just say there is no danger of me wanting to buy a Bernina. <laughs> just gonna leave it at that. Um, you know, not everybody likes the same sewing machines. That's why there's a whole bunch of different kinds. <laughs> um, so it's working fine. It's just, it's definitely not my favorite. So, um, and then you just basically start sewing, or if you have something that you already started on, which I did, you bring it with you and you work on it. Um, and working with Judy is, first of all, guys, she is wonderful. And everybody says this, and it's absolutely true. Um, learning with Judy is sort of like, um, and I'm gonna explain this, but it's sort of like learning from your grandmother. You know how, like, if your mom is teaching you something 
you know, like, let's say your mom's brushing your hair and you got like a big, I, don't ask me how, where I got this story from, but you have like this big, um, what do they call those? I would get them all the time, like this cradle cap, not cradle cap, but I would get knots in the back of my hair. I don't know what it was. So my mom would, you know, I had long hair then, not now. Um, and, but like if your grandma is brushing your hair, she's like, ah, oh, you do it. So Judy is so patient. She will explain everything to you. I love that. Um, and then, and she works her way around the room and like helps everybody. And there are people who have, um, like in my group, there are people who have never quilted before. And for some reason decided, hey, I think I want my very first quilt to be like one of the most difficult thing. No, I'm just kidding. It's not difficult. Uh, but I mean, she's over there making like this huge quilt. I just think it's amazing. In fact, it's Jenna. It's my my roommate. Um, and then there are there are some. Um, you could have some CIs, which are certified instructors. And we have one certified instructor and we have a CI in training. And she's like between the two phases right now. And don't ask me what all that means because I don't remember. But um, so she's able to do all of that. And, you know, we're all in the same room together and watching each other's progress and it's great and um and what else probably tonight i don't know what time judy's gonna leave us tonight um but tonight i can um show you the progress that i'm making we are um judy is trying to get me to finish the uh top left corner of my quilt and then um, I'm gonna work on just getting all of my paper piecing parts um, all sewed up. And the quilt itself, everyone says, it goes together like really quickly. So I'm excited about it. I don't think I'm gonna have the whole thing together, but it'll be pretty darn close. So I'm excited about that. Um, I am kind of um, at a point in my life right now, and I, I know I talk to you guys about this all the time, and it seems like there's always something. That's what it always feels like to me, like there's always something. <sighs> so other than being at a Judy Niemeyer retreat, which is absolutely wonderful. Life's not a maze balls right now. And so the things like being here and, you know, Brenda Foley sending me that lovely package, um, so unexpected and, and um, that was so nice. Thank you, Brenda. And Brenda's daughter. I'm sorry I don't remember your name. Y'all know I'm terrible with names. <laughs> and the Montana Coffee Roasters. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, it is what it is. Life is what it is. And we just work through it with our friends. And um, I just wanted to come on and tell you a little bit about the retreat. I know that I said that I would come on every day. That was my plan. I thought that I would be able to do it. Um, but I sew all day long, basically. Oh, and did I tell you they feed us really well? I mean, we get three squares, dude, three squares. And actually even, you know, more than squares. I, I've i had um, a few meals where, because I, I I think it's, I think they're still, I can't get this earring on. <laughs> I think they're still working on how they're going to um, be doing meals in the future. This group, our group is the first one back 
after everything got shut down for COVID. So this is their very first time. And I think they're gonna do something a little bit different, but right now um, someone comes in and brings us breakfast or makes us breakfast or whatever. And then um, we order from a restaurant for lunch and dinner and then they bring it to us. Um, so we get lunch at about 12 o'clock. We get dinner at like 5.30. <laughs> So I definitely had to buy snacks because by eight o'clock I'm starving. Um, but that's just an Yvette thing. <laughs> they feed us very well. Um, so I've been, you know, sort of, anyway, you can bring like your own, I bring my own soda. Um, they give us plenty of coffee and you just have to, if you don't want the half and half or milk or whatever it is they have, and you, if you would like, if you want creamer, you have to go and get your own. And that's fine. That's fine. I mean, there's no big deal. They are so good to us. It's amazing. Um, so that's the little story for right now. I'll hopefully be able to uh, film a bit more of what I complete today and post that for you guys either tonight or tomorrow. Who are we kidding? It's probably going to be tomorrow. And, um... I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching and I will be back. And sorry, you had to just watch me do this, but that's the only time I have available to spend not sewing. <laughs>okay, so I came outside just for a minute, um, just to kind of give a little more information. Won't be out here long because it's chilly. <laughs> And I probably won't be making any more videos of me sewing because I just broke my uh, my tripod. So, yeah, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> don't even ask me how I did it. I have no idea. So, I just wanted to say, I, and I know I'm going to end up signing, sounding like a broken record, but every single person that I have ever talked to has always said how nice and patient and just super sweet Judy is. And it's really true. I know I've kind of not really talked about it a whole bunch, but sort of hinted at the fact um, that maybe people aren't as nice as you think they would be all the time in the quilting world. Um, I know I was certainly shocked by it um probably a bit naive about it and that's you know that's okay but it's interesting um you know i came to this retreat first thinking that i perhaps wanted to become a certified instructor i'm not 100 percent sure one way or the other yet just to be honest um the things that have sort of made me think maybe not is the sheer amount of time and I would love to be taking the time to sew that much, to quilt that much, to um, because this week has been really wonderful guys. Um, but since and you know just like so many of us out there I do have to work a full-time job um, I'm not sure I'd be able to do justice with it. So I'm still on the fence. I'm still thinking about it. I love her quilts and uh, her patterns. And now that I've had some time to learn how to use them, it's a whole lot better. I think, oh, I thought I was in someone's parking space because I'm standing like out in the parking lot. <laughs> anyway, um, so moving past that just for now. Judy, like, came to, came, yeah, she, she tries to get to know each of us as people. I don't remember how the conversation started, but she, um, asked me if I had chain pieced before. Oh, I might be in someone's parking space. And I said, um, that I had, however, not or maybe I said no with the FPP. Oh, this person isn't coming over here. So now I can stand between the cars and block the wind a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, um, 
uh, you know, I said, yes, I've done chain piecing before, not with foundation paper piecing, at least not until I started doing her quilts, um, because you can actually chain with that. I'm changing hands because this, my right hand is now frozen. Um, so, uh, you know, I said, I, listen, I'll be quite honest. I don't even remember how we got started on it. Oops, man is now here. This is his third trip today. I don't think it's, it might not be the same dude. Hold up. I'll tell you. Cause I see him out the window every time. Same dude. <laughs> it's kind of odd if you ask me, but that's okay. So, um, way too late. I know, but I'm going to try to do a long story short. She came over and I somehow it got on the subject that I write FPP patterns the funny thing was, she says, what's FPP? <laughs> I was like, foundation paper piecing. She's like, oh, okay. Um, so, <laughs> I told her I wrote my own patterns. She wanted to see them. I so showed her the ones that I have in my shop. Um, and we just started talking about a lot of different things. Somehow it came up that I um, have project boxes um, for foundation paper piecing and as far as I know from the research that I've done mine is the only one out there that is an FPP project box and so she's like oh did you talk to Judell about that and I said well no I you know I said I came here to quilt with you and so I, you know I'm not here on a business proposition or anything like that and um and so I guess what I'm trying to say is she sort of has restored my faith in people and or maybe just the quilting industry um, where it's very awkward holding it like that you know where because who think are, are people who think like I do that there's enough room for all of us like we can all you know do our thing out here and find people who can appreciate what we do and um you know it doesn't have to be a competition it doesn't have to i mean i understand i listen i'm not stupid i know that the world is you know everybody's fighting for their spot and you know um we all need to make a living we all need to you know i, I don't know maybe i am naive but i feel like there's enough room for all of us to do and um I don't know so I just it felt really good to have someone like Judy pay attention a little bit care about maybe what my dreams might be or um, she didn't make me feel like she was threatened in any way I mean come on she's Judy she <laughs> She doesn't, she, there's no reason for her to be threatened by me. But I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. It's, I think sometimes, maybe when we're not as well known as Judy, we tend to be threatened by others who are trying to come into the space. Um, I don't know. I don't really feel threatened. I feel like we all have a spot, you know? And it just sort of made me feel good. So I thought I would come on and share that too. I don't know how much more I'm going to be filming because there was only one more day of sewing and now I've broken my uh, tripod so I really have no way to hold the camera up except by freezing my hands right now. Um, and I can't hold up a camera and sew at the same time. Listen, I'm pretty good but... <laughs> that might be asking a bit much <laughs> um, anyway thank you for following me on this journey in my life in quilting in everything I really appreciate all of you and I love you and um, I will be back